favorite breakfast spot. We're at uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. They serve breakfast here every day. And we're in Tortola. We're getting ready to head off the ship. We're gonna do an island tour, but we figured we'd grab some breakfast. So far, this has been the best breakfast we've had. We've done the dining room and we've had it here. And so far, this is the best. So we're here again today in Tortola. Got the same thing as the other day. Got some French toast, some eggs, some sausage, hash browns, and they got a couple things of chocolate milk. Today we're parked beside the Norwegian Dawn. We're a long ways up. Man, waterfall from here. So we're now in Tortola. Say hi. There's our ship behind us. First time we've actually seen it from the outside, other than when we get on, obviously. But and the Norwegian Dawn beside us as well. So we're we have a few sprinkles coming down. A little bit of rain. Looks like a big cloud over. It's supposed to be partly cloudy today, so hopefully we get lucky and it doesn't rain. Well, here we are in Tortola. We got off the ship. It's raining. It kind of slowed down a little bit, but I don't know if it's going to stay this way. So we got a taxi tour. It's $20 per person for two hours. It's a short tour around the island. Check it out. Hopefully it clears up, but it doesn't look too promising today. So let's check this place out. We had Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant make sure the first ball in that building. The first ball have been thrown in that building, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. We have been, we have been driving up this uh, side of uh, the mountain here. Scary. Scary, and we're still going up, so up, up, up we go. I'll drive. You drive? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll need beer though. <laughs> that island that we're looking at there right now, we call that Guana Island. The one right there we're watching at there. That's Guana Island. What in Guana, anybody could see it. What in Guana? Uh-huh. What in Guana? What in Guana is a historical place. What in Guana belong when we were, uh, Christopher Columbus discovered the West Indies. The first island that he saw was St. Croix. That's the American side and the Caribbean side. Thank God we have one in the <laughs> And when he come around that island, he see that island as a fat virgin. He called it a fat virgin. Mm -hmm. then that's why he said it, virgin God. So we're on our tour bus and our taxi and he's uh, we're backing, backing up, up the hill. To let a bus go by. I don't know if it is. Hopefully he, hopefully he knows what he's doing. So the sun has actually decided to come out. It's still kind of raining, but the sun is out. We've got some beautiful views of the British Virgin Islands behind me. We have a beautifully painted mural behind me. It's just along the roadway here. The driver was saying that it is a story of the history of the Virgin Islands. Got different scenes depicted from 
the island's history. Okay, so they've made a stop so we can get a nice view of the downtown area here in Tortola. There's Missy. She's taking pictures. Say hi. Hi. You need to tell them what we saw earlier. We saw a goat that looked just like a cow, so we named it a mow. <laughs> Goat? That's no, we named it a gal. That's a it. Gal. A gal. I think a mouse would be like a yeah, it'd be a mouse. Yeah. So when we were in Barbados, they were having elections, and it looks like there's elections here next year, 2019. Vote VIP. Goes up, must go down. Our little taxi tour is stopped at a rum distillery here. There's a beach area over here. We'll walk over and take a look, make sure we don't get run over crossing the street. The roads aren't very busy here, but you never know. Definitely a rocky section, it's not where you set up shop with your beach towel, but there are there is plenty of sandy area down here. Lots of beach chairs and a couple You can see that back behind me over here. There we go. Getting ready to walk back up to the taxi. There's a lot of tore up buildings here. Not sure if that's from the hurricane, from the hurricanes last year, or if that's just they may have been like that before the hurricane. So that's just kind of noticing that around the island. Obviously, there's a lot of storm damage from last year. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that so our tour is making a, about a 15-minute stop here at Cane Garden Bay. It's a beautiful beach. I was actually just up there a little bit ago, and that's where I was filming earlier. So we just taking a stop here to check out the beach. And the water is actually pretty warm. Got my feet wet. Beautiful beach. I guess you could get off the taxi tour here if you wanted to. You'd be responsible to take your own taxi back. So that is also an option. A beautiful beach here. Brakes and transmission holdout. Getting ready to get back on the Norwegian bus. We had a great taxi tour. It was a little, uh, little hilly, right? Just a little bit hilly. Yeah. Nothing, uh, nothing too bad. Missy now wants to rent a car when we come back. No. We're going to rent a car, no. we're going to drive the entire island no. and see everything. We probably see even more than we saw today. We drove ourselves, we could go wherever we wanted. It's not that bad. We've done it before. We've driven, well, we've never, never driven this coach before. So. so we'll see you on the ship.